You have to have the compute architecture, the zonal architecture, the networking, the data management, all of that has to be in place to support an implementation of a software-defined vehicle. Zone controller is the way of abstracting the device behavior in the whole car. The zone controller, for instance, has to roll in order to connect first to all devices in the car, so radar sensors, camera sensors, door controllers. The zone controller will then use a piece of software which translates the proprietary device behavior into a known interface. The services will be visible on the CVC, on the central vehicle controller. The CVC, in most cases, hosts the perpetual chassis of the drivetrain of the car, like braking, steering, engine, and also dampers. The CVC is also the connectivity to the outside world, is the inventory of software. The services will be visible on the CVC. On the OSP, you have mostly the ADAS functionality and UX functionality. We are offering interchangeable, high-performance compute solution in the OSP design. And you get more and more functions and you get more performance. We can exchange just part of the system to allow much more functions and features to be rolled out. This is then hosting the applications which requires a lot more computing power. The OSP modules contain only the elements which nearly needs to be exchanged, like the SOC, like the memory. These are the components you need to exchange. Anything else will stay in the car over the entire lifetime of the car. The different levels of SVA or automation level is fluid. This really depends on the requirements. How much ADAS functionalities you have, how much compute power you need, the advantage of Having uh, different controllers with different compute power and units is that we have different um, requirements for each controller. Uh, so the SVA enables a software-defined vehicle because we have their up integrated functions in different controllers and we have it really simplified. Mm -hmm.